There are worse things to do on a Saturday afternoon than hang out on a balcony and watch some baseball. Sunday Galloway Sooners were wrapping up pool play against number three seed Kansas State. OU trailed 2-1 in the top of the third when Garrett Bruchelle got a hold of the Ryan Daniel pitch and planted it in the bullpen and left. It was a solo shot for the super sophomore. The score was tied 2-2. Two two. In NASCAR, the big one is a spectacular crash on a super speedway. In OU baseball, the big one is a big inning. It puts the game out of reach. That inning was the fourth. OU had already put two runs on the board, and Chris Ellison capped off an epic at bat with a triple right down the third base line. Danny Black and Caleb Bushy had scored. OU led 6-2. to two. After Ellison came home on an errant throw from the catcher, Garrett Bouchelle topped off the inning with his second solo home run of the game. Bouchelle was 3-for-3 three three and extended his hitting streak to eight games. He also took over the team lead in homers with 15. He was hit by a pitch, coincidentally, in his subsequent two at-bats. OU led 8-2. It was 10-2 in the top of the eighth when Danny Black blasted the Justin Lindsay offering over the fence for a three-run shot. If you're looking forward to UFC 114, Rampage Jackson and Rashad Evans have nothing on these little kids, viciously pursuing the precious ball. Sooners have homered in 16 of the last 17 games and improved to 20-1 and when scoring 10 or more runs. OU wins it in an eight-inning run rule, 13-2. You work hard all year, and it's really the body of work, but you don't want to give any stumbling uh, towards the end of the season. And you know, I think we've made a pretty good statement today. So uh, we're disappointed 2-1. and one. I think this is three out of five years now uh, since uh, I've been back to Oklahoma that we've uh, had to get on the bus and go home 2-1. and one. But uh, that part's disappointing. But you know what? We'll practice tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and we'll find out what the host sites are tomorrow, and then we'll uh, find out exactly who's playing where on Monday. Uh, I think we're a team that can go anywhere and play well, whether or not it's at home or on the road. Because we got a great young ball club and a really experienced team So at this point in the season, more so than we were in the beginning of the year. So the fact that we might, we might be a host, I don't know. It's really, for this ball club, doesn't really matter as much as for some teams who have a big home field advantage, per se, with like 10,000 fans. The Sooners now head home to Norman and await their NCAA tournament fate. They'll find out Sunday whether they'll host a regional in Norman. The entire bracket will be announced before noon on Monday. Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.